All right, it's the next day here. We finished manure hauling yesterday. Uh, there was five acres or so out back that was uh, under, it was around the construction area that we weren't able to farm. So I hauled manure in there. Uh, this morning, a neighbor, or I shouldn't say a neighbor, I guess it would be a neighbor over in York. They borrowed our uh, 11,000 pound weight. They're gonna be doing direct cut barley and uh, I'll have to try to sneak over there some evening while they're chopping and uh, get them chopping you'll definitely recognize the tractors so but yeah that weight's gone and if i get to it i actually might pressure wash the tank today but i have other stuff to do i'm gonna quickly mow the front lawn and then probably bed up the weaning barn the new weaning barn if not both if they both need it but uh they put crushed concrete out front there so there's actually room to turn around and uh, bring the tractor and spreader back there um cheaper than gravel it's just it's crushed concrete so it's not as nice as gravel or stone i should say and uh but yeah it's kind of nice to have that around and then after that i'll if i motivate myself i'll get my tractor and tank pressure wash today papa's washing off the pump and I'll be getting the uh, tractor and tank here. So it doesn't take long to wash the pump off. Besides up top, I got the rear end of the tank done. That's the least fun part. So now it should be somewhat smoother sailing for the rest of the time. one poop rig down deuce rig whatever you want to call it there's some other terms um and then another one to go that's the tank we rented i'm not doing three tanks today i'll tell you that much but uh yeah i'm gonna do that one next someone say that's a double deucer one rig down tank wise i want to do the tractor another time uh another tank to do and then that tank and those two tractors I might, we'll see if I'm nice enough to do Mitch's rig, but I uh, might just leave that for him to do. We'll see, depending if I want him to pressure wash or not. <laughs> He's the boss of me, so yeah. But I might do it because I'm, you know, I'm that nice guy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I want to do the tractor probably on the weekend or something when I don't have anything to do. I shouldn't say that, but or if I'm itchy to get more hours, that'd be something for me to do. Look at that nice truck. It's been a while since I've seen that one. That's a joke. I've seen that for like two years now. You can hear the horn there. Oh wait, yeah, this tractor sounds good, I forgot. <laughs> the next day here i need to get into the habit of actually just recording throughout the whole day uh this morning i uh put panels in uh from hutches that we moved treated and uh as i was doing that i noticed there was some a lot of commotion going on down below and i had no idea well i knew partially of what was going to happen but not to this extent so we'll go down here and check it out all right i know the suspense is killing you guys so the dump truck's down here loaded with a bunch of rubber mats. If you guys remember, there used to be rubber mats all along there. That's all cleaned up now. It looks a lot better. And they're actually grading that off. And they're gonna be putting millings back there along with in between those parts. So it's gonna look really nice. It'll be nice for parking and just smoother in general.
actually back there right now, I do believe. Grading milling, so I'll just quickly run back there and check it out. Hello, ladies. Man, there's a good air going through this barn. Those fans are, uh, well, they're doing their job, to say the least. They're not even all on. Those outside ones are uh, not even running. That's good. There's a nice, really nice air flow. It feels amazing, actually. Cows do better in the extreme cold than extreme heat. I mean, it's not extremely hot out, but that just, yeah, they prefer the cooler weather. Indeed, there is meal, <laughs> mealings, millings back here. Cool. Apparently they're going the whole way up to the straw shed or stop up there. I do believe that would make sense. That over there won't be filled in. That'd be a lot of millings if it was. Mealings, a lot of mealings. And then uh, yesterday my dad was chisel plowing. All this used to be field, but uh, pad for future barn, water basin. Uh, this we'll be able to farm. It's probably like four, four and a half acres here that we're adding on. I mean, we're adding on, giving back to us. Uh, yeah, it looks good. And we'll go back to the end of there. Well, be a nice finger to mess around in with the manure tank, but yep. Thirsty. Is that a chisel tooth? good digging into my side working ground used to do this when I was younger I vaguely remember it squeaky the 
depends how I montage this together. I think this will be the end of the video. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, I'm gonna wash the tractor here. Um, I need to make a video on KF feeding again and leave it in the comments. Since it's the end of the video, I know the troopers stay to the end. So let me know what you guys want to see more of. I know I get the whole milking thing. I'll have to go through the parlor again when they're bringing in groups and whatnot. Kind of, yeah. Try to time it where I'm down there and I can show milking, I guess. I don't know. You guys got to, you understand. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's not my nick uh, down there. Uh, I'm not a full-time milker, so. Um, and this is not just about me. I try to show everything at the dairy, so. And I'm not going to force someone to hold the camera if they don't want to. So, all right. <clears throat> Here we go. I only, I don't, I pressure washed it here before spring, then it got dirty. It's been, been a while since it's actually clean, clean, so I'll have to scrub it sometime during the summer, or, yeah, sometime this Saturday. I think I'm going to be booked. I've got to get some hunting stuff, so.